Hey everybody, I'm Zach, this is Schmirkadubber, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia Legends. Look! We're above the clouds. Can you believe it? And there's nothing here. There's absolutely nothing here. Um, but... Now we can fly over the Great Rift, right? Or the Dark Rift, rather. And somebody told me that there's no random encounters way above the clouds. So we could potentially go back to Yafutoma. I wonder if they have delicious meats or something. Look at all these. Oh, this is like all the Great Wall, though. The Dark Rift. Sky. Question mark. Question mark. We're going to find out what that is. Although maybe it's a Yafutomen sign of some kind. Hmm. Oh, look at the blue moon. That's so cool. Okay, so, I mean, at least we can fly around all over the place. That's nice. Um, but we are going to have to go down to find things. Oh, look at this ship above the clouds. Are you a good ship or a bad ship? I'm a fisherman. I've been chasing after a fish called Hamahai. This fish called Hamahai is a really rare species. They fetch a great price. Oh. So we're looking for ultra sky fish. That's pretty cool. Um, Ultra Skyfish. Huh. How do you like them apples? Uh, this is nice. This is nice. Virtually no random encounters. So, like, there's, like, this... Okay, that's just a chunk of wall. And is it just a chunk of wall, like, over here, too? I'm going way the wrong way. Yeah, just chunks of wall, except for this. You're not just a chunk of wall. Yes, you are. It's all chunks of wall. Even all the way down there, perhaps? <coughs> Ooh, you can go real high, huh? Oh, you can go real high. It is all just chunks of wall. Um, and Yafutoma doesn't have a guild. It definitely didn't have a guild. Hmm. Okay, so I think I'm just supposed to do it, right? Just go straight under. Although maybe... What happens if I go straight down? It said I can fly below the cloud. Oh, ooh. You aren't the fish I'm looking for. Whoa. Oh, I can't fly very far underneath. But this is pretty cool. And I assume no randos when I'm underneath as well. Hmm. I'll bet that there's all kinds of stuff underneath and above the clouds for discovering. Not really sure, though. So do these mountains go... Oh, they're just very dark. Am I under the dark rift? It seems that I cannot go any further this direction. But I can definitely go above it. Yeah. That's real nice. Oh, look at that. Uh, 
A discovery. The Iron Star. It's a satellite dish. A strange object said to be launched by the ancient civilization of the Red Moon. Uh, legends say its eye could see the entire world. Even now, sailors navigate by its rhythmic flashing light. That's cool, dude. I kind of want to fly... Like... Yeah, I feel like there were... There's definitely... There's, there's other places that we want to fly way above. Like, um... Like Valua, for instance. Like Valua. Where no one can catch us now. And we can get in, we can just fly above the clouds and nobody will ever get to us. Clouds sure are dark, though. Mountains sticking up above? Oh, that's a big-ass mountain over there. Holy cow. Oh, this is so cool. You gotta be like Mount Valua or something. The Sky Ladder. A value in legend states that before the age of airships and air balloons, two people of the ancient world over many years built a ladder from which they could see the entire world. What would the people of that era think of Valua's own armada? Weird. That's weird, is it not? I think that's weird. Um, so like... We're just in Valua right now again. It's thunderbolts and lightnings. The Maw of Tardis. Still nobody here. Okay, so we can just go. Huh. Didn't realize we'd still be able to land there. That's interesting. Alright, I need some water. Oof! That's the good stuff. All right. Um, let's go back up where there are no randos. And... That's weird. They, they must have... They must have closed off that north end, like, purposefully or something. What's that? It's a ship. Protecting us from air pirates. Good. Ha! <laughs> it's funny because I'm Vise. Nothing in this awesome crater? Come on. Come on. Alright, what about down in here? Just want to have a quick look see around. That looks like a fighting ship. It is a fighting ship. I don't think it can even get to me, so I'm not even worried. Um this is back in Nazerlands. Yo. I can just drop into the value and capital now. I don't think I can land anywhere, but I can just drop in. I mean, this is cool, right? This is pretty cool. Um, can we really not land? 
We can land in Lower City. Yo, we haven't been here in a thousand years. Let's scope it out. This is exciting. All right, let's save. Oh, there's got to be something secret here, right? Like, there's got to be. Has your dialogue changed? They broke out of the Colosseum. It did happen a long time ago. Not like that long ago, but long enough ago that it's probably not like daily discussion anymore. Uh, I want to take you with me too. Oh, maybe there's a crew member here. Haven't seen Marco in a while. He's probably committed murder by now. He was always a bad apple. Um, right, she's reading Braille. Definitely picked up all the treasure in here. Do we really... Do you think we can even get into Upper City anymore? There was like a hotel here. Could go scope that out. You never tried going to Upper City again. Okay. But you did come back to Lower City. Is there anything actually here? Ugh, horrible. Like, there's, there's got to be a crew member in Lower City, right? Like, anybody who lives here would have to be like, yo, I will join your crew because life here sucks a fat one. Um, it's been blocked off. Yeah, Marco did join us already, but like somebody else, right? Couldn't I go? Oh, aha. Ha ha ha. Let's go. Let's find out. Okay. We may not even be able to go into the sewers again. Because that, that would be an easy way to close it off, right? Just close the sewers because we could only go in there that one time with Marco. I don't think anybody else for your crew is there. That's too bad. What about this guy? All right. I mean, now that I have a ton of money, I should just be able to like throw it around the upper city, right? Yo, it's it's still open. Oh, hello, Durgles. My doggo is sitting at my footses. What a good boy. Okay. Wow, I never noticed the detail on these lamps. It's really cool. Okay. Splissy splashing down in the sewer goo. Pretty sweet. Random encounters. The usual stuff, you know. All right. All right, these freaky bug guys. Oh, they're so weird. All right. I gotta grab a little something to snack on. I'll be right back. No time at all. An utter victory. All right. Sorry about that, everybody. Oh, no. 
I don't know what that was. Hmm. All right. Yeah, I, I have to eat something. I'm dying. I'm dying right now. Okay. Oh, yo, I pressed a button. Even worse. All right, there we go. Everything's good. We're all good. Mm. All right. Everything is going to get murderized so fast. All the time. We did it. Okay. Bum bow. So good. That was fun. This game would probably be like 80 hours long without these cheap AoE attacks. Like, her, A her AoE attacks end so many fights so quickly. And like, any other methodology just takes so long. Dude, I'm stoked to find out about all this stuff that's here. Talk to people, see some dialogue, talking about how scared they are of Vi's. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I forgot to skip. I failed. I have failed you. No. Mm. An utter victory. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm so distracted by my food. Okay. Oh, it's a moonberry. Um, okay. Enrique, you can have it. Let's get you another super move. Justice shield. Okay. Good stuff. Ah! Pretzel down. Okay. I still think it's going to be on the bottom because it was the last one I unlocked. All right. Mm. Wow. This hardly seems worth it. I'm probably going to have to walk all the way back, right? That's going to suck. Going to suck big time. All right, let's go. Mm. Okay.
kind of want to save it. I should have saved it before I came in here at all. You know? Wait, the lower city port. I did save it. So if there's nothing here, I can just reload. And I won't have to walk all the way back through. Great. That makes me feel pretty good. <laughs> All right. No going into the Coliseum. And like... Wasn't it a secret passage here or something? Yeah, like we could go this way. Yeah, but it won't budge. Huh. Okay, cool. Uh, we're going to restart. We're going to reload. Because I do not want to deal with that. Um, okay, we'll do a little bit of this. Oh, man. Long walk for nothing. They should have just closed the sewer. You know? That would have been a much more sensible move. All right. Oh, I got really scared for a second. Because <laughs> it auto went to the catacombs. Oh. Mm. Alright, so there's nothing here. We can just go back to the Delphinus. And, uh... Like, there's nowhere else we can land, right? Dude, Upper City looks so nice. Okay. Well, what happens if we go in here? How are there no ships, like patrolling in here right now. It's crazy. Alright, get me out of here. Okay. Where else do I want to have a look around? Um, I want to go back to Ixataka, maybe. Ooh, I want to go above the, uh, South Ocean. Over here is a place that we couldn't get to before. Yo, we've never been in there. Let's go check that out. A new area. Yes. Mm. Hmm. Really sorry about this eating right now, everybody. Mm. Like, I was legit getting lightheaded. Okay. That's a giant looper. And it's an enemy. That's pretty exciting. So, plane fight, right? Ship fight? Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Big boosts. <laughs> 
It's not too bad, damage-wise. Oh, the real question is, can we hit this thing? Is it just going to dodge all of our attacks? Does it just, like, teleport between loops? Is that what a looper is? Is that why they're so hard to kill? that a lot. Sure, that seems good. Dang. It is just gonna dodge. That sucks. That's real lame. Right. Oh. Alright. See how the Moonstone Cannon does. Hmm. Oh, come on. That was great damage. We just gotta get it. We just gotta hit it. Alright. Very successful. Bum It got away. Looks like if we do too much damage at once, it gets scared and runs away. 
All right then, next time maybe we'll just try damaging it little by little. Maybe that'll work. We got nothing. We got nothing for our trubs. That sucks. All right, what else can we find around here is the question. Um, it's a lot of big ass rocks. Okay. So this is like just the domain of the giant looper. Uh, it does look like there's an island of some sort maybe down there. Let's head up this way first. Hopefully the map will reveal whatever land masses it sees. Wow. There's just, like, nothing down here. Nothing. Hmm. Okay. Onwards. Always onwards, ever onwards. Hmm. What on earth? How far does that go, jeepers? Oh, it goes all the way up here, huh? Okay. This place is huge. This place is straight huge. Okay. That's Dark Rift? Yes. All right. There really isn't anything here. Okay. So, we just do a little bit of damage, a little bit of damage, and then we absolutely crush it with the Moonstone Cannon to finish it off, right? Seems like a pretty easy plan. Nothing. So just the giant looper? That's so weird. That's so weird. I am loving this new engine though. Allowing us to fly around without random encounters is so nice. Alright, this way. Still don't see anything there. There it is. Okay. Is there something on here? Hmm, we'll never know. We'll never know. Hmm. Well, it got two of them. Of course, the ones that cast sleep. This fight's gonna take a thousand years. All right, that helps, actually. I'm just gonna do attacks here. Hope that Aika takes them out. Bah. Hmm. All right. Exterminate these fools. Get them out of here, guys. Rain your swords, your S words.
All right. Weird. Oh, come on. There's got to be something here. Got to be. Why do we get out onto the deck anyway when these loopers show up? I don't understand. They're like, hey, loopers, let's go outside instead of just, like, running over them. Or flying away from them. I don't get it. Okay, that was too much pretzels at once. That was way too much pretzels at once. How is there nothing on this strip of land? What about underneath it? Nothing? Nothing. All right, well. Yo, oh, you can see, you can see regular clouds. That's so cool. Okay. So we got to go up and above this. We already found this. Yeah. Ah, bah, ah, bah. So there should be like more, yeah, like very tall mountains over here. Yeah, like this. We can never get to these before. Like the tippy tops here. Look at this, there's a temple up in the clouds. How is this not a discovery again? Oh, did we like already discover it somehow? Have we been here before? Okay, well there's got to be something in here, right? Thank you. The yeah, Alupas. An ancient species that predates the Ixitakan civilization, the Alupas live quietly in their forest. Their calm, proud demeanor has earned them names Sages of the Forest, choosing their mates for life. There he is. He's so cute. Um, oh, and you're up above the clouds too? Let's have a talk. Let's have a save and let's have a talk. Okay. I live apart from the rest of the world in this quiet place, making my home with the flowers and the insects. I'm grateful that you took the trouble to visit me here, so I'll tell you a secret. North of the lands of the Yellow Moon, there's a wonderful flower called the Balloon Flower. It's very beautiful. You'll find a huge flock of insects that flutter in the wind if you travel to the land where Ixitaka meets the land of the Red Moon. Travel high in the sky to find flutterflies. Flutterflies. The red moon. That's like this area. No. Nazer is the red moon, though. Like, there is no connection between these two. What? Okay. Where Ixitaka meets the land of the red moon. And then the first one was north of the lands of the Yellow Moon. So that would be, like, here. Yeah, okay, that's good. That's good to know.
Nothing? Seemed like there should be something. Okay. Just thought I'd try this. See if there's any... Ooh, look at you. We only got one, huh? Bit of a bummer. This looks like a ship fight, but maybe not. Alright. Worth a try. Dude, this is a fun little explorey episode. I'm having a good time. Okay. Well, what is that thing? I've never seen a bird this big. I don't know, but it looks like he's hungry. It's a rock. Of course. All right. Focus. Focus. Um. Arc wheel torpedo ancient cannon. Yeah, that seems good. Okay, I'm excited for this fight. Blast voice. Oh. It just, like, listed me. Not very much damage, in any case. Okay. Is it just gonna do that every turn? Because if it just does like 10,000 damage a, a, a round, that's pretty easily handleable. Again, okay. Seemed to do a little more damage that time. Oh, big hit, nice. Huh, that's very strange. gonna tear the ship apart. It's still coming after us. He must be really hungry. Okay, this is fine. Um, you know what? We're actually gonna do a little bit of damage here. Like this. Um... Yeah, this will be fine. All right. Yeah, we'll get some more damage in on it here, and the next round we'll get the Moonstone Cannon and everything will be fine. Good stuff. Twenty-six twenty, really? Just terrifying. A, a terrible, powerful attack. Cool that there are not random encounters, but there are visible encounters up here. It's pretty neat. Um, I like that there's still something that you need to avoid. Alright. Good stuff.
take that thing straight on. All right. Um, this should kill it, I would think. I hope so, at least. Because we did just do a full heal as well. Dang. A sliver of health. A sliver of health. That sucks. We have to wait out another entire round. Should have just attacked it. Uh, it just takes so long. These ship fights take so. Oh, jeez, oh man. Getting grabbed too. What are we supposed to do? Um. Yeah, this fight could have gone faster. For sure. We could have just used a bomb on it. Like. Anything. I like that the rock has like the furriness underneath it on its chest. That's super cool. He looks like a phoenix. Are we done yet? Alright. Gotta be dead now. Gotta be dead. Fire. I like the Moonstone Cannon because it always goes first, I think. Ah, uh, That's pretty tragic, guys. That's pretty tragic. Bunch of money and a wooden doll. A wooden doll. Um, okay. I guess it was a piece of ship equipment, right? Carved wooden doll shaped like a cuddly animal. Simple, cute, and adored by Fina. Nice. Okay. Good. Well, we got a thing for Fina then. That's that's very nice of us. Um, okay, yeah, it seems like that should be a discovery. Hey, the observatory. Civilization once flourished here under the green moon. The observatory is built on the plateau and speaks to their advanced study of astronomy. They could do not but watch as a shower of moonstones destroyed their culture. Okay, we already found those monkeys. Was that a fish? No, it was a leaf. Okay, makes sense. Uh, yeah, let's go down this way. And let's see what the North Ocean looks like. Um, well, we're above it too. I still can't believe there's nothing in there. All right. Cool. So this is South Ocean. And we're going to be looking around for a rock that doesn't move. And I want to see the tornadoes from up above. That sounds cool. Whoa, what? It's moving. Okay. That's what the tornadoes look like from up above. 
How can I... How can I not, like... Oh, God. I was kind of seriously stuck there for a second. Look at that little guy moving so fast. And look at the size of this giant tornado. I really thought I'd be able to go down in the middle of it. Nope, just, just poops me out. No. The fish aren't worth it. They're not worth it. Um, we're already, like, almost all the way on the other side of the South Ocean. That's crazy. Ridiculous. Okay. Um... Through the rocks. What is this? North Ocean, right. Um, or Mid Ocean. That little rock moving so fast has got to be something, right? Okay, just leave me in here for a sec. See if I can spot it. No. Okay. I feel like I may have already gotten it. I don't know, man. I'm done looking around in the South Ocean, though. I'll tell you that much. Let's go. All right. And then I think I had a tip to, yeah, go through the rocks from Trine Island. Seems like it's worth a try. Nice, S-rank fisho. Oh, fantastic. Ooh, these actually extend up above the clouds. How do you like that? Uh, Shrine Island. Oh, we went way past it, dude. But it looks like this might be where the thing is. Is it here? Is it this? Eh. Ayah. Uh, okay. Wow, what's this? This has got to be a thing. This teeny little rock here? It has to be. And this very flat ground? Ugh. Bah. Discoveries are so hard to get in this. The randos. The randos keep getting in your way. Alright. Done. Okay. Uh, back up above the clouds, please. I mean, this looks like it could be a thing. But it isn't. Alright, Shrine Island. Right here. So there's Shrine Island, and it said... Through the rocks... Yeah, this looks like a special mountain of some kind, too, right? No? Alright. Back to Shrine Island. Okay. Perfect. And then it said go west. Where? 
Whoa, what's this boat boy? Hello. Yeah, there really is Yafutoma in the east. All right. Back up above so no more randos. And then I think we just go directly east through these rocks. And it points us right at this, like, mountain-y thing. Okay. Yeah! The sky coral! Awesome! Okay. Microorganism called sky coral attached themselves to boulders and grew to form these reefs. Cool! All right, we did a thing. Um, okay. Next. They said... North of the Yellow Kingdom. And he also said where Ixataka meets the red... It doesn't make any sense, man. It doesn't make any sense. Um, but north of the Yellow Kingdom, which is uh, Valua. So let's head there. And we'll see if there's anything in this region as well. It could be something. Like that ship that can't possibly get to us, perhaps? I like that. Hmm. Hmm. All right, off we go. North of the Yellow Kingdom. Balloon fish that lives above the clouds. Oh, uh, wait. Well, this is north of the Yellow Kingdom. It is awfully dark up here. Whoa. What is this? This is exciting. I hear a cue. It's a really thick book. I can't even read this thing. Bunch of symbols and numbers. Power source. Oh, there we go. Nice. Okay. Not Aika. Fina. Get your cham on. I'll get your cham on. I'll get your cham on. Still a cupel claymore. Um. Oh, hello, person. Ilkimus. I never expected to get visitors way out here. My name is Ilkimus. I've come to this island to further my studies of medicine. You're on this island alone to study? You're strange. You're probably right. I've been called strange since I was a child. I was always asking questions. Why does water float when it freezes? Why is the sky blue? But that calls to mind another question. Which, what brings you to this island, anyway? Would you like to join my crew? Actually, uh, actually, I'd like to ask you to join my crew. We need a doctor. I'm no doctor. I'm a chemist. I study medicines and such. I'm very happy that you would like to take me along, but I cannot travel with you. Um. Okay. Why can't he travel with me? Oh, man. Is there... What is this? Is there... Is there anything for me to take from this lousy place? Okay, well, we'll remember that that's here for sure. Um, figure that guy out later. Ilkimus. 
interesting. And you're at like the north the 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 northern the northerly norths. Um okay. Well, I don't see any balloon fish, but I'm glad I found Ilkaimus' island. How did he get there? Oh, he must be Yafutomen or something. Um, maybe. Let's fly above the, the Dark Rift. Oh. It's a ghost ship. An unmanned shipwreck that continues to wander the skies. Some claim it was once a ship of the great air pirate Dakot, but no evidence has been found to support that. Cool! Making discoveries, doing the things. Um, yeah, that's very cool, actually. Um, now I would like to fly, like, above Yafutoma. So we're currently above the Dark Rift, and it's about to get darker. There's the portal. Oh, baby. What is this? We landed. What? Chirpy chirp. How much you dance team? Chirpy, chirpy, chirp. Partying Hamachu. Oh, they're all wasted on fermented fruits. Dude, stop. Enough. I've had enough. Oh, yeah. They're all hungover. I hear the sound of a cham. No. No. Thank God, okay. <laughs> Fina, get your cham on. Oh, get your cham on. Bounce, 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 get your cham on, cham on. Get your cham on. Bounce, 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 get your cham, cham, cham. Uh, there's this large bird up here, perhaps. Hey, get away from my food. Where'd that voice come from? Don't tell me it was this hobbit you. Chirpy chirp. Chirp, chirp, chirpy, chirpy, chirp, chirpy, chirpy, chirp. Chirpy, chirp. Oh, oh, God. Oh, we'll deal with this next time. What the F, dude? Thanks for tuning in. You know I appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later. I'll see you around. I'll see you next time. Can't wait to... I could wait to deal with this guy, but I'll do it soon. Ugh. Have a great day. <laughs> Bye.